My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinner ideas using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, using up some stuff from our fridge and freezer, I'm going to be making these yakisoba noodles. I really like them a lot. I found them at Winco, um, but you can pretty much get them anywhere. And so you get three little packets of noodles and it comes with a um, dry seasoning sauce base and I'm gonna chop up some green onions and add them and then also add this coleslaw mix to it as well. And then I am going to make these mandu chicken dumplings that I had in my freezer there from Aldi, I like them. So it's gonna be a quick and easy dinner tonight. Okay, here is our dinner. That entire package of cabbage is in the noodles, but as you can see, it cooked down a lot. And then I just pan fried the dumplings. I failed to mention that those dumplings at Aldi are a seasonal item during Asian week is when they have them. So I usually buy them and then stock up on them. I've still got some more frying in the frying pan, but these are the um, others that I already took out. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having big dinner salad. So there's some grilled chicken in there. There is romaine lettuce and cabbage in there as well. That's some feta cheese on the top, um, crispy wontons, sliced almonds, and a boiled egg that I chopped up. Really debated on the eggs because they're so expensive now. I didn't know if I wanted to use one in the salad. And then for the salad dressings, I'm gonna have some Olive Garden, and then Howard is gonna have this spicy French. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am going to make a meal based on what I have on hand. So I have these two packages of Nor rice sides. I'm gonna make them according to package directions. In my freezer, I had this smoked sausage. I'm gonna slice it up. And then I'm also going to cut up this broccoli as well. Gonna saute the broccoli and the sausage together, add in um, the rice and then um, top it with cheese. So let's get started. Okay, so here is dinner. Pretty quick, very tasty. Just serving it with a side of crescent rolls. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm making another quick and easy pantry meal tonight. So in this skillet, I have some lean ground beef that I um, added some bell pepper and onion to and some seasonings and I just cooked it up. And then in this pot boiling, I have this um, three cheese tortellini that I get from Aldi. I like to have this on hand for quick and easy meals. So all I'm going to do is drain my tortellini, add it to my ground beef, add this jar of pasta sauce. I had a couple of half used bags of mozzarella cheese in the um, freezer. And then I'm just gonna add it all to the casserole and then pop it into the oven for about half an hour. All right, so here's everything all plated up. I ended up baking that casserole for about half an hour, serving it with um, the leftover crescent rolls from the other night and a side salad. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, I am making Mexican corn chowder. This is something I've made on our channel before and I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box, but it's an easy recipe to kind of clear things out of your pantry. So you just need some milk, and then you're supposed to use canned corn. I don't have any, so I'm using the equivalent in frozen corn. Normally I use a chicken or leftover chicken that I have on hand. I don't have any of that either, so I have a couple of cans of canned chicken that I'm gonna be using. Monterey Jack Rotel, and the recipe calls for a cream of chicken soup, but I have this cream of poblano soup that I'm going to use instead. And literally all you do is throw everything into the pot, except the cheese. You throw the cheese into the pot once everything else has been combined and is heated through. So I've got everything in the pot except the cream of poblano soup. I thought you might wanna see what it looks like. Here it is. And again, I'm just gonna let this heat all the way through and then 
I'm just gonna break up the Monterey Jack cheese and put it in there. I used to shred it when I first started making this soup years ago, but because Monterey Jack is so soft, you can literally just break it into chunks and it, and it just melts out just fine. Okay, so here is the soup. This one is Howard's soup. This is my soup. I like to add tortilla chips or Fritos or something like that on top. And I will say, I think I do prefer it with the cream of chicken soup. I think it's a little bit more savory that way. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'll leave the recipe in the description box. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.